YouTube. What's up, YouTube? Pablo Nelson here, Media Mogul P. And I know you guys was waiting for our picks this week, but we had a uh, family emergency that we had to deal with. Everything is fine, thank God. But um, that that paramount what we do on this channel for fun. So we just want to, you know. Thank you guys for riding with us. Next week. And uh, next week we coming back stronger than ever, but we had to take a week off, God. I guess you could say this is our bye week. Exactly. <laughs> Anything you want to say, brother? Um, Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. You know, we just came on here to give y'all an explanation. We feel like we owed y'all that for riding with us. You know, consistency is key. Consistency is key. So, I mean, when you be consistent and you're not there, it's important that you let the public and everybody know what's going on. And that's the main thing at what we preach. You know, and, and you know, Media Mogul P is going to drop his channel soon. You're definitely going to want to tune into that channel because he's going to give you so much uh, inspiration and game and show you guys how to move out here y'all you know what i mean like you know look at this look at this you know it's beautiful out here it's a beautiful day out what we got to get be mad at you know what i mean the neighborhood is lovely and um you know you guys can manifest whatever it is you want and, you know you can manifest Whatever it is you want, guys. Golf course is over there. You know what I mean? You know, and, th and that's what that's what we're all about on this channel. You know what I mean? You got the people playing golf. That's what we're about on this channel. You know what I mean? We, we about manifestation and positivity and, and doing things the right way. But we just had to come on here and give y'all an explanation as to why we didn't show up. All right? Like and subscribe next week. Like and subscribe next week. We coming back. We coming back better than ever. You know, but not only, you know, with the YouTube world, we talking about life in general, guys. You're going to have a lot of people that, uh, you know, try to stop you from being great try to stop you from doing whatever it is that you're doing you know but the main thing is you got to be very consistent and you know the incident that happened yesterday i don't want to go uh too much into it you know but it didn't have anything uh stopping anybody stopping anything it was a uh it was a medical emergency with a family member and so that family member is doing a-ok -okay out of the hospital now you know when you know uh, uh back better than ever you know what i mean so we want to go and make sure you know everything's straight and make sure you know they're comfortable and you know just do the family thing because family paramounts family paramount said it all you know what i mean and that's what we like i said that's what we do it for thanks again guys you know it is still football sunday the eagles the philadelphia eagles are in town playing the raiders and last time i checked the eagles are up I don't know what the score will be by the time I release this video, but uh, me and Media Mogul P was just in the car. Yes. We're still ripping and running. We was talking about Ben Simmons. I said, you know, I got the camera on me. Let me turn the camera on real quick. Let's share this with the community. Now, brother, what's your take on the Ben Simmons fiasco? Well, first of all, I like the Sixers GM Daryl Morey for his stands on the matter, as far as making sure Ben lives up to his contract and finding him, um, talking about him, keeping his name 
in, in the media. Because Ben Simmons needs to be a professional. They're old uh, excess over 140, 160 million dollars left on your contract, and you're the one complaining because you don't want know how to shoot the ball. And that's your reason. That's your personal issues. And on top of that, he's not looking professional. Because whatever team he goes to that he may think you want to go to, who is going to give you any kind of a contract because you're not right um, to, to play. You're, you're very sensitive. And I'm going to walk back that. I'm not going to get in, in that, that space. But I'm just going to say he's not professional. And I'm just going to leave that right there, brother. I'm not well, going to talk like, about mental health. Like I was just saying, um, I feel like Rich Paul, his uh, his agent, need to step up and talk to him and tell him, look, get your mind right. You understand? You're a professional. Mm -hmm. You play professional sports. Get your mind right because no team is going to want you mm -hmm. with the way you're acting. You're hurting your own self. You're not hurting the 70 sixes mm -mm. and one thing about philadelphia is that they are very knowledgeable fans football baseball hockey whatever basketball, basketball. Mm -hmm. the philadelphia fans are knowledgeable that's why people don't like going to philadelphia you gotta have tough skin if you're going to play for a Philadelphia sports team. Because when you're playing like crap, they're going to give it to you. Now, Ben Simmons is mad because the fans is upset at him because in the playoffs of last year, this man never even took a shot. He never took a shot. Scared. Rest in peace to Kobe Bryant. Before Kobe Bryant died, a lot of you know Kobe Bryant is from Philadelphia. But for Kobe Bryant died, Kobe Bryant was a big, um, you know, Kobe Bryant was from Philadelphia. He got in touch with Ben Simmons and wanted to train him and teach him how to be a better shooter, how to take those shots. And Ben Simmons didn't take him up on that. You know what I mean? So, Ben Simmons is right now is reaping what he's sowing. Like my brother said, M Mooney, whatever his name is, Maury. said Maury yeah, said he'll keep his ass on the bench for four years if he have to. Because no, nobody's playing with you, Ben. Because what Ben needs to understand is that, like my brother said, he's a professional, but you're in the big boy leagues. And like you said, nobody's playing with you, and it's your job to get your mind right, your body right, your spirit right to get out there and perform at the highest level. That's your job. You're getting a, a, a handsome check to do your job. It's like any other job that anybody or any profession. Any profession that gets paid a lot of money. Doctor, lawyer, executive, as, uh, entrepreneur. It's going to require long hours, long studying, knowing your profession and you'll get paid well but it comes with a lot of work but you reap what you sow when you get that good salary so to get that good salary you got to do the work Ben Simmons that's not correlating with him he think he can just get the money drive the Ferraris drive the Rolls Royces and not have to work life doesn't work like that remember with big responsibilities come Big work. I'm done on the Ben Simmons saga. So people, you know, I had to touch on Ben Simmons because it's a lot going on in Philadelphia. And you know what? Philadelphia is taking their stance. And uh, Ben, you a $160 million crybaby. Okay? It's unreal. Never seen it. All right. So you know what? I had to come in here and talk to y'all. I know we talk to y'all weekly. And I'm going to get back to my regular content too on this channel. I'm going to get back to running around Vegas. I'm going to get back to showing you the dice sets and this and that. I'm going to get back to the dogs and, and everything that I do on this channel. 
But, uh, you know, we've been on this sports wave for a while now. And we're going to keep giving you that because some of y'all like it. Um, again, that's it. I'm signing off. Like and subscribe. Peace.